Hey everybody, welcome to the Calox Studios Fuser Design Workflow Series. In this series I'll be sharing with you ways to maximize your workflow using the many tools available through the Fuser software package. Let's go ahead and get started by taking a look at our sample facility. Now coming out of Revit, this is typically how a design starts out looking. Now, there have already been a few tweaks made, notably the cabinets, but overall it's flat and kind of sterile. To Fuser, however, this is a blank canvas. And there's no better way to work on a canvas than under proper lighting. With Fuser, adjusting the lighting is as easy as selecting the light, clicking the Adjust Light button, and moving your sliders to the desired settings. And with a check of a box, those settings can be transferred across an entire family of lighting. Also, you have the added ability to adjust your daylight in case you want to add that little bit of dramatic flare. Now that we know how to set our lights, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at Fuser's material assignment capabilities. With Fuser, assigning materials is not only simple, but fun. By clicking on an object, you can see what materials are already assigned to them and change them accordingly by clicking on the Render Material in the Element Properties window. You can adjust the transparency, the reflectivity, you can even adjust the render color. You can also select different materials from those uh, that are available already in your materials library. And again, by clicking, by, uh, clicking on one checkbox, that can be added across all the instances of that particular object. Now you also have another option. Let's say I want to give this a custom look. Let's say I want to give it a look of leather. You can add a new material by clicking on the Create Materials button. To give this a leather look, I'm just going to give it a texture. Add a little bit of reflectivity just to give it some shine. And then throw on a bump map. And by doing that, you can just add that extra bit of flair that you may want to add to your project. Also coming soon in our 1.8 release, you'll even be able to add mirroring properties to your surfaces. Now once you've gotten the hang of these functions, you'll be able to quickly and easily go from this to this. As you can see, Fuser gives you the tools to let your creative side shine and help you quickly and easily achieve amazing results. Let's get back right into the project. Now first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of do a really quick inspection, see what it is that I want to change in my project, kind of make it look the way I want it to, kind of give that feel of the function I like. So first thing I want to do is just, there's something I wanted to add to the uh, back area of this conference room. So I'm just going to go ahead and save a snapshot here. And, oh, there we go. Uh, i got to fix this table here. And if I remember correct, there it is. The mystical floating printer. So I'm going to go ahead and take a snapshot here, too. Let's go ahead and run through and see what else I want to change. This looks like a nice office kind of an area here, but it just doesn't have the right feel to it yet. It's just kind of barren. So let's go ahead and save one of that too. And there's one more I wanted to look at up here. Mezzanine area. Well, I'm not even sure what this is right now. So much stuff going on. So yeah, let's click on that. Okay, I've got four spaces I want to look at. Let's go ahead and start out the most obvious one here. I want to fix this up. Looks like we got a table leg going through a chair here. Let's go ahead and refit that. Make sure my refit physics is on so it'll bump into stuff. There we go. Let's get that out of the way. I can hit escape to finish too instead of hit finish. Let's go here. That looks good right there. And since this is kind of a waiting area, let's just uh, make this chair face the front desk. You know, give somebody a good view of the TV too. Let's pull that out and let's go ahead and come up here and rotate it while we're at it. Just make sure this face is the right way. 
Uh, let's not make them crowd the other guy's legs out. And bring that forward just a little bit. There we go. That's about what I want. Okay, let's not forget this one. The Mystic Floating Printer. Let's go ahead and shift that down. And I'm just going to really quickly change the color because I don't remember ever seeing a printer like that of that particular color. So, there we go. Okay, let's go to our next stop. Let's see what we got here. Okay, this office area. Uh, let's see what I can ask. Me office, so I'm going to assume that everybody in this office is going to need some kind of computer. So I'm going to go to my family uh, library here. I think it was under specialty equipment. And there we go. Let's give these guys some computers. Okay, uh, let's give that a kind of a shiny black. I think I made that before for the TV. There we go. That looks more like what I'm used to. Okay, um, I'll go ahead and hit place selected because I don't want to have to go finding it again. And let's put one here. I'm going to hold shift to rotate this around. It should snap right to whatever wall is there. Give it parallel. One here, one here, one here. And I believe there was one more chair. Yeah, there you are. Yeah, I don't want to leave somebody out. Okay. So far, so good. A little dark. Let's see what we can do in the way of lighting. Right up here under lighting. There we go, under cabinet lighting. Okay. I want to brighten this place up too much, so let's just do one for every two right now. See how that looks. There we go, brighten that right up. And let's do one for this cabinet. And let's not forget the guys stuck over here. And there we go, let's put it right about here. Okay, so far so good, that brightens that up really nicely. All right, let's go back over to the saved views, and let's go, ooh, yeah, this place. All right, okay, that roof is going to get in my way. So, let's go ahead and enable cross-sections, vertical cross-section, and let's just give myself something easy here, and just, there we go, cut off the roof, give me a little overhead here. And just so that I can, I'm going to go ahead and save a snapshot of that, because that way I can go right back to the cross-section. Make sure that works. Yeah, we're good. Okay. So let's get rid of these file cabinets first. When I look at this area, I see it kind of as a, almost more like a commons area, or even someplace you can host presentations. So we've got office areas downstairs. Don't really need these up here. I'm going to go ahead and hold down Control and multiple select items, and just tap Delete to get rid of them. I like this right here. Uh, just uh, something to note, Fuser does not currently support a deletion history, so if you have any deletions you've made that you want to uh, make sure to sync back to Revit, make sure that you uh, sync them back before closing the cache file. Okay, so far so good. Alright, let's go back to the overhead view. Let's move this out of the way. I can actually move multiple items by selecting them all and hitting refit, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Shift this over here. That's good for now. And there we go, hit escape. And I think I want more of these tables. Let's just go ahead and go there. Family and place selected. So, okay, one here, one here, one back here. And these chairs too while we're at it. So let's go ahead and hit place selected. Don't want to crowd this place out too much. So let's see what three per table looks like right now. I can just hold shift to rotate. And one there. One here. One here. One more time. One here. And let's say this guy wants to face uh, that wall for some reason. And put this one over here. Okay. So far that's looking a lot better. Let's go ahead and take a look at it from other view. Okay. Not bad. I think the room needs a little color though. So we're going to go ahead and look in Fusor's Foliage Library. If I remember correctly, there is a lovely holly plant here that I kind of want to use. I'm going to take the height all the way down and make sure it fits into my scene. Now, so put one back here and one back over here. Okay. 
And like I said, I saw this kind of as a commons area, some place to entertain, and maybe some place to even host presentations for you know clients or guests or whatever. So you know, every good presentation room is going to need something to put their presentation on. So let's throw up a TV on the wall here. There we go. You got presentation, you got movie day. And that's starting to look a lot more like what I want this place to feel like. Let's go ahead and hit view three again. Yeah, it's pretty nice. And then if I want to, I can go over here, give myself a nice presentation view, and I'm going to save that too, just because I like that angle right there. Okay, one more thing I wanted to do was jump down to the conference room. I like it. I like the, the way this uh, worked out, but I think just for some added flair, I want to throw up something in the back. Now, I don't actually have anything in here that I can use as a backsplash, but what I can do is throw in a generic, because I want kind of a wooden backsplash right behind the TV. Let's shift that over just a little bit. Yeah, that's good. And I'm just going to change the material on that to give me my wood backsplash look. Okay, now I know I have one in here somewhere. There we go. Uh, no, I don't like the alignment, so let's go to my other instance. There we go. Kind of an up and down. All right. So everything seems to be in order here. You know, while we're at it, uh, let's just see what we can do. I mean, we're trying to make this place liven up a little bit, so let's go ahead and liven it up with some people. All right. Let's have this business guy here. Let's have him in a sit position. This guy is sitting here waiting for a meeting. Let's put him in the chair right here. And let's see. Here we go. And let's have him over here. Let's say mom brought little Timmy. To, mom uh, is meeting little Timmy at work. And since little Timmy is here, let's go ahead and add mom. Have her right over here. Okay, so far so good. So, as you can see, it's really easy, simple, and effective um, to use Fuser. Just really pop some life into your uh, into your project, and just kind of show off how this is going to function the way you want it to. go ahead and load up some views I previously saved from the uh, other versions. I'm just going to go ahead and jump straight to the mezzanine. Now this is kind of what I had before. This is the, the feel of this is just kind of a, a commons area. I figure this is a big enough office. It'd be nice to have some place to, you know, go uh, relax for lunch, you know, congregate, that kind of thing. Or, you know, if you happen to have an office function, you can throw something up here for uh, guests you've invited. But, you know, I'm thinking to myself, what else could I do with this room? I mean, sure, that that's one thing, but let's say your office uh, needs a little more archival space. It, you, know, you could have an upstairs archive that has all your archival documents. That would be a good use for this room. Uh, another use would be if you have sort of an executive office uh, you could place up here. Uh, you could have the, you know, the boss's desk back here and maybe, let's say, a secretarial desk over here, another one over here, if, you know, office manager or otherwise. Uh, and one other idea, actually I had a couple other ideas. One, you could even turn this thing into a movie room. It would be really cool. So, you know, I, I, I kind of want to be able to portray each and every one of those ideas. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the design options to do that. First, I'm going to set up a new design option. I'm going to go ahead and change this to mezzanine so I know where I am. There we go. And I like leaving one empty slot. And just so, I, just so if I want to start with a blank room or if I want to see what the room looks like clean, I got that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and create another one. And I'm going to save this one as the common area. So first thing I'm going to do, let's go ahead and jump over to my cross-section view here. So let's go ahead and select these. And I'm just going to go ahead and add these to that first design option. i got to make sure this is highlighted. So I definitely want this to be a keeper. I don't want to lose that. So I'm going to go ahead and add these to the option. Let's switch back and forth. Okay, so we just need the chairs. 
Actually, I'm going to switch to empty just to get everything else out of the way, make the chairs a little uh, easier to click. Should also speed this up quite a bit. There we go. And I'll make sure this is highlighted, and I'll say, yeah, I'll just go here and say add to option. Okay, so jumping back down. Okay, so we got our common area, and we got a clean room. We've already got two options set up right off the bat. Now, let's see. What, the first idea I had, uh, like I said, was an archival uh, archival floor. So the way I figure it, I think I should probably put some shelves over here. Well, not shelves, but uh, filing cabinets over here. Maybe a couple more over here. Table over here in case you want to review the documents. I figure TV would, I, would be a good idea in case you have any video documents. So let's go ahead and create a new one here. And let's call this one Archive. Now, the nice thing about this is I can go ahead and go like this. Go to the Archive. I can say Add it here. I'm just going to move this over. Okay, let's shift this all the way over here. That's good. And Fuser will actually store that movement separately in that design option right there. So I can go back here. There we go. First thing we're going to need is a table. I can go and search for one, or I can go in here, and I believe furniture should have it. Um, in my vision, i got about two tables over here and about one table back here just for review. So I'm going to go ahead and put the first one here as a review table. Let's go ahead and set that one right here. That's a little too close to the wall, so let's refit that. I don't want to crush anybody in the chair there. There we go. Okay, I figure a couple more over here would be good. You know, in case somebody needs to do some reviews on really large stuff, I'm going to... Let's say you have plan reviews that you need to go over and you need a lot of table space, so let's put a couple of these over here. There we go. And of course, it never hurts to have somewhere to sit, so let's do that. Let's go to the chair. So put about, let's say one here. Assuming I actually remember to click, that helps. There we go. So one there, one there. let's tilt this one out just for effect. this one right over here. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and switch to my overhead view again. Make this a little easier. Let's go ahead and click this. Minimize this so I know where I am. And place some more of these chairs, I figure. One, two, three. And let's put you right here. Okay. Uh, let's see. What else would go in an archival room? I think... Obviously, we're going to need the shelves, or the, uh, excuse me, the filing cabinets. There's no, there's a really tall one down here, so save me the trouble of going and looking for it. I'm going to go ahead and place that. I'm going to go ahead and place that there. Two. Let's give these a little space. Kind of make them feel real. Let's do this here, here, and here. Alright, let's give myself a little flip around here. And let's put about three more just back in here. Got to make sure I give them enough clearance, otherwise you open them up. You don't want to open those back to back, they'll run right into each other. And you'll have no space to do anything. Those cabinets. Okay, so let's jump back down here, mezzanine view. Alright, there we go, there's my archival area. Like I said, I can go back and clean this up after I get my other uh, ones done. Um, I think, well, let's see, what was the other, what was the second one I wanted to do? It was the, oh yeah, the executive office area. So let's go ahead and create a new one. Clear the floor for me there. First thing I'm going to do is set up some desks. So I'm going to make some really nice looking desks. Okay, so, first things first, uh, oops, not there, let's go to furniture. There we go. So, actually, first let's go back to our overhead. There we go. So, first let's pick a bench here, and I know it's a standard bench, but I kind of want a desk that's similar to that look. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to play a little bit with the scale. Let's make this 125% up for height. 
Let's back this out another 25. Actually, let's make this about 150. No, 25 is good. Let's make this about 185 for the X. And let's see what we got here. Okay, let's move this a little bit because it's got to fit properly. Okay. Okay, oops. Let's fit that back down a little to the floor. There we go. Okay, so that's actually kind of a nice looking desk. I like that. I'm going to leave that one there. Actually, I'm going to call that done. Let's see. Well, first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to make a couple more copies of that one. So let's go ahead and place selected. Let's rotate that one. And let's place one back here. And one back here. Let's say we got a secretary and an office manager. So actually, I'm going to move that one a little over because I got an idea for that. Okay. Okay, so uh, rather than have you sit through the next 10 minutes of my own perfectionist tendencies, uh, what I figured I'd do is just jump ahead to my own finished, uh, my own, uh, finished vision of this project. As you can see, we've got the common room set up, uh, got the extra TV over here. You know, in case somebody doesn't want to watch the baseball game over here, uh, you can put 24 on or whatever you feel like watching. And of course, we have the office space over here. Uh, beefed up the boss's desk, you know, just to give it a little more uh, oomph to it. Added some whiteboards on there in case you have, you know, really uh, big discussion, need something to write it down on. And the archives. This was the other option we were talking about. So we've got a large plan table here in case you need to review some large documents. Got your Xerox machine over here in case you need to copy anything up. Got enough uh, file storage to suit a small army or at least uh, one very large uh, piece of construction. And another rev uh, another uh, review table over here, and something in case you need some video review. And then, of course, there's my personal favorite, right at the end. Welcome to the company movie theater. Let's go ahead and have some of our folks sit down for a movie. Let's start out by placing Casual Man. Have him put him right here in the seat. And let's see if we can place. Let's say Dad just got off work, and I'm going to put him right here. And Mom came from work and met him at the office, so she's going to go ahead and be seated right here. And since it's company movie day, they figured they'd bring their kids, so. Teenage daughter. And of course, let's bring a little brother. Or in this case, big brother, I guess he's oh. Could be having he could be having a growth spurt. And let's just add one or two more folks in there. Let's go ahead and place another guy in there. And then, since we got everybody situated, let's go ahead and start the movie. So, I mean, as you can see, this is just uh, what I've been sharing with you is just my own design vision. With Fuse's design tools at your disposal, the only limitation really is your own imagination. So, I hope you enjoyed watching, and uh, stay tuned for our other upcoming workflow videos. See you then. Thank you.